Right, Derek, hi. I'm into your campaign. Hopefully you can hear me okay. Um, and I'm going to have a look and see what I can find. So let's go straight into here and see which are your um, biggest campaigns for the last month. If I go on clicks, see where you're spending most of your money. Um, 50 on copywriting agency. So let's go into that. And first thing I want to do, you are running two ads against each other, which is great. Um, let me see, you've got one at a click-through rate of 4.26% and you've got one at 2.7% and so obviously what I'd say first off is rewrite your 2.7% one um, which you've just done by the look of it because you only had one click um, and the most important thing, okay let's go back to keywords, this is a group that's called copywriting agency um, someone's typed into Google one of your keywords and if we look here the highest one is copywriting agency is copywriting agency um, and you haven't got in your ad title copywriting agency um, so I would be um, first thing I'd be doing is making sure that your ad reflects the keywords because if we go let's go to um, let's go into Google if I type in here copywriting agency um, what I get down here I get you big star copywriting that's great and you've got copywriting in the in the ad copy but you want it in the headline too because when you're not in this top position here um, then you, you're going to be on the right hand side and as you'll see everything is highlighted in blue whenever copywriting agency comes up and people per hour there particularly stands out um, subliminally subconsciously as well as consciously it's saying you were looking for copywriting agency we are a copywriting agency um, so I would make sure I rewrite that ad straight away and put copywriting agency in the title award winning copywriting agency that's great um, and then I might just um, just I'll show you this but I won't actually change it get off um, I put in here and probably drop the www big star copywriting and then I put just to emphasize the word agency I don't think you'll fit copywriting agency in there so I won't change that for you now but using that in your um, in your address bar on Google is a good way of again highlighting the keyword so it'll say down there big star copywriting dot com slash agency and it's another way of just making sure the ad reflects the keywords people are putting in um, you've then got a lot of keywords that, that aren't doing anything um, and in the last month have had no impressions that will drag down your overall quality score so anything that consistently isn't getting anything happening I would pause it um, and if you think it's got legs put it into its own separate group in a smaller group and have just copywriting agency should just just have keywords that relate to copywriting agency um, so that's what I do in there let's go back and look at your other campaigns that are doing quite well so we got copywriting agency again there um, look at that groups where are you spending your money all right copywriting services so again let's go so the keywords are all copywriting services related getting uh, some good click-through word on that one let's have a look at your ads um, again no copywriting service in the headline um, with respect and I don't don't take this personally no one gives a damn about big star copywriting it's got to be all about them um, so I think copywriting service in the in the headline of the ad there um, and then yeah you know change vary the ad copy to try and make it work better um, to get more click through is going to be a big help what I haven't done is checked um, where are we sending everyone okay so now I'm looking for what are copywriting services and you're sending me to this page um, does that copywriting service doesn't doesn't quite does it match me? I suppose it does. Um, but again, I would have the word copywriting service up here because what you're trying to do is give the user a complete service that they go copywriting service into Google. They see your ad, they like it, they click on copywriting service, they land on your page and it says copywriting service for businesses, agencies, etc. etc. Um, so your landing page then can be improved. Um, and on this page, um, you've got a call to action down there, which is good. Um, find out more about the services it's, it's a long page which I'm perfectly happy with um, what I be, would be inclined to do is put your call to action call us now for a free obligation assessment um, or a quotation or give them something and repeat that call to action a bit more often because at the moment I'm, I can scroll down a long way and at the bottom here I've got a quite a small call to action which has been skyped which is always annoying 
Um, so call that or give me another option like you do at the top say call or email or complete an inquiry form so that you're appealing to different types of people some will want to fill in a form some will want to um, just just call some will want to email so give them that choice and re-emphasize that that call to action all the way through um, those those are things that can definitely make a difference to your ads um, and as I say then you know freelance copywriting services if you think that's a good keyword I would say it's probably a bit vague for you um, then I'd be inclined to put a separate group freelance copywriting advert uh, services and have that as a separate ad as well so you always get um, the groups as small as possible pro possibly only six to eight keywords in each group because then your ad copy can completely match that so for instance uh, you could say in here you know copywriting service um, Never quite fits, does it? Need a copywriting service. Um, need copywriting services. Just do the thing that we did there. We start going there. And that will just emphasize the ad more and more. Can you send them to a different page? Is there, there you go, you look, you've got copywriting services written on there. Oh, fantastic. Well, let's use that as our landing page. You know, that is bang on for what we're trying to send them to. Um, so I would send it to there. Let's see if I can pause that for you now. Um, so yeah, I've put that one in there, I'll pause it, and then if you want to test it, uh, I would do because it's got the copywriting services in the headline, which is exactly what they're putting in, and I'm pretty sure you'll improve your click-through rate. I mean, I the best click-through rates I get are sometimes up to sort of 7 to 9 percent. What that does is makes a massive difference to um, click-through rate, brings down your cost, improves overall campaign performance, performance. So the first thing I would do on your campaign is go through each group, turn off the keywords that aren't that relevant where there's not a high volume of them um, and the ad copy doesn't match put them like freelance copywriting so put that into its separate group pause the rest work on the keywords that are converting and, and pause those that aren't um, and in here you've got SEO copywriting service but I know you've got another group down here for SEO, SEO copywriting um, so make sure that each group is very very specific six to eight keywords very very tightly written um, ads that match the uh, nature of the service and then make sure the landing page reflects excuse me reflects what they've typed in and what they're looking for and on that landing page improve the call to action you know at the bottom of this one um, call call what <laughs> where am I going to call you you've made a fatal mistake there Derek put your phone number big bold and ballsy um, and easy to see and repeat that a few times you know, call us for a, what are you going to give me call me for a free quote call me for a no obligation assessment call me for a special offer um, but give me something give me a reason to call you because you've got to assume that all of your visitors are dumb and you need to uh, to, to make, give them a reason to get in touch with you um, that's about it so I shall stop there I hope that's helpful let me know